Hello everybody, welcome to another episode of Dungeon Boys. This episode is brought to you by Duke's Barbecue, officially not a sponsor. My name's Keith. My name's Bo. Go ahead, Josh. It's my turn! Yeah. <laughs> Josh <laughs> playing as Arlo. Zena's playing as Grim. And Bryce playing as Jack Law, this no longer his dad. This ain't Bearded Brothers. You can't be first on this Yeah. One. <laughs> uh, welcome. Sorry, this episode's going to be short. You saw from the time... Uh, we are crunched for time in recording, so we got to record a short one for you. The last thing that happened, uh, they fought two orc soldiers and an orc mage in the bottom cargo hold of the ship that they are on that is taking them to Buckland. They haven't been on the ship 15 minutes, and they've already killed three three people, or three, you know, enemies. Um, so now they are down there with the bodies of three orcs, and they are hearing a knock at the door. Grim killed three people. <laughs> yeah, Grim is the one standing there. Yeah, Grim killed three people. The rest of you just helped. Uh, and they heard a knock at the door, and someone with a very similar accent is knocking, saying, What are going on down there? Is there a door? Can't, yeah, the, there's a door kind of to the, the stairway. I just assumed that, I mean, I didn't say it, but I just pictured you opened it and went in earlier. Like okay. a, Grim, there's I, someone at the top of the stairs. Yes, it it's an orc. You may want to divert them. Okay. <clears throat> I, I deployed a, a flaming sphere last time. Can I just send that up to the top of the stairs? If dead. Hmm? To where all the don't, people are eating? Don't do that, Arlo. <laughs> it's a bad idea. Let me let me see if I can handle this. Right, you, you start to see it kind of move that way when you tell me that. No. Alright, you, um, you do what you're going to do. Take care of the bodies. And I turn into an orc mage, and I. You put your mask. You put your mask on. How wide it's are been the bars on the, on oh, the yeah, gorgon cage? <laughs> huh? How wide are the bars on the gorgon cage? Body wide. I mean, if you pressed it, you could slip in there. Okay, I'm gonna push the orc mage through the bars. <laughs> All right, roll strength. All right. I don't have much, but can I help him in this endeavor? Yeah. Uh, that's a thirteen. Roll with advantage. <clears throat> That's a fourteen. Hey. I'll say after some. <laughs> that's about as much strength. After as I can some have. squirming and with a little bit of help from the gorgon, that's really excited to have <laughs> this thing in there. Uh, you do push it through. You push the orc mage through there. Sweet. Okay. I don't let's know go how to I the feel stop. That. Let's go to the. By the time you do that, Grim has ascended the stairs. Uh, let's yeah. let's cut to the top of the stairs. Do you open the door, uh, or do you talk through it? I'll open the door a crack and kind of like okay. stick my head out. Whoa. What's going on down there? It's through this commotion. <coughs> we smell smoke. One of one of the gods spooked a monster. I had to had to freak it back into submission. You talking about that gorgon? No, no. Yes. You have another one? What? Yes. No, you are talking about. I am talking about <laughs> the rabbits. The go- did the gorgon get one of the one of the boys? Unfortunately, yes. He was he was being foolish and prodding it, poking at it, making fun of it. Oh no! Need, no, which one? Oh, what was his name? Not Leopold, but tell me he's not Leopold. What did Leopold look like? He looked like me, and like you. <laughs> <laughs> it, it might have been him. <laughs> I think it was. I'm sorry. Blast! Can I see his body? The Gorgon did things. <laughs> Alright, we got him. <laughs> I'm having a lot of fun, but we got to roll a persuasion. <laughs> we got to roll a performance. <laughs> a two! No! <laughs> Can I hide one of the other bodies? While well, you're having this conversation, absolutely you can. Uh, he to... says, You just pulled my leg. These don't sound very convincing. I bet Leopold's down here. You're going to have stealth. <laughs> How long do you have? Stealth that body. <laughs> Wait. In one hour. Stealthing a body? Well, what? stealthing to hide something. Well, well yeah, not, it wouldn't apply yeah, to the body. The spell's not him. cast on that body. That's true. Um, I put it in a hiding spot. I feel like I would hide it. Either way, I rolled a nineteen plus yeah, ten. Yeah, you, you definitely yeah. hide it. But I'm just saying, like, I'm not gonna allow you to say I rolled a thirty something to hide a body. I just can't allow that. <laughs> you want to see <laughs> in the Gorgon's <coughs> pen? Come on down. Then. No, you just trying to scare me. You trying to get me down here to be scared? You know I don't like Gorgons and scary animals. I, I'm nice. telling you the truth, though. You look like you're not. Well, that's your Wait, fault. I should have a roll, huh? <laughs> you look like you're not. <laughs> Beat a two. You can come down and see. No, I'm staying up here. 
Okay. I'm not going down there to mess with that Gorgon, even if Leopold is there, but I know he's not. <laughs> okay. Just so you know, me and Leopold's close. Please keep him safe down there. I I will try. <laughs> What's left of him? I'm I'm gonna get back to my post. I, man, me and Leopold, we killed so many things before. We killed children. We killed men. Killed a few ladies. You had. You know that was kind of Me and me and Leopold, we know how to rip them up. But do you want to come see Leopold? No, I don't. I mean, I can... If, I'm telling you, I don't like scary... I like killing people, not scary animals. Well, this, the animal's in the cage, you don't have to he mess might with get it. out, he might... No, absolutely not, stay down there. <laughs> that, okay. You, see, this is what they try to do. They told me you, they... That's why they sent you down there. They told me that you come up here and you try to switch places with one of us and go, oh, I'm a smart mage, oh, more, more, more. And you want to to us to go down there and take your post. Well, not today, sir. Not today. I'm staying up here. Thank you very much. Goodbye. He, cl- he closes the door. <laughs> just turn around <laughs> and start walking back down the steps and return to Grimm just... Guys, I'm confused. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess if we I have to... I hear you say more, more, more. Something, yeah. I guess if we have to turn into Leopold, it's good he's not convinced that the man is dead. True. Into the cage. (laughs) (laughs) I'd like to put another one into the uh, Gorgon Grinder. (laughs) You just hear it like... like, like, Can I take my body before I stash him? Yeah, there's another pouch of ten gold. Okay, I toss that to Arlo. Also, there's, you know, they had great axes on them and a couple of javelins. This one's... Oh, target. sweet. All right, I'll catch it. Sweet. <clears throat> so, there's one very well hidden and there's two being consumed. <laughs> I suppose this is the monster. I, uh... I turned into that woman. At the, the dwarven woman. And, yes. uh, Eartha? I tried to... Sure. I tried to learn what was down here, but I suppose it's that creature. That does seem to be the most prominent thing down here. Unless it's that bear cub. Bear cub. <laughs> <laughs> um, what What do you want to do now? Galley is just above us. Fellas, I don't know about y'all, but I could use a snack and a nap. I'm a bit peckish. Okay. Well, let's go get some food, and I will. Well, let me return your 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 disguises <laughs> first. I had to take the mask off; it hurt. Oh, ah, uh, all those mints. Oh yes. Good, good call. Here, take these, Arlo. Ah, oh, thank you. Yeah, I need some refreshing breathiness. Hmm. I'm checking something real quick. All right. And then I, I touched them both, and I restore their... Dis- Wait, you were a dog. I never had this guy. I was just a puppy dog. What are you going to be now? You can't become another pupper. That's why I need to rest. <laughs> Tell you what, you're fellas. Gonna, you're going to have to stay down here. Tell you what, fellas. I'm going to stay down here. Y'all could bring me a little snack or something. That'd be alright. I don't. I don't want to eat that other body. You can still transform him into somebody, into another person. Well, you could be Leopold. I won't be no Leopold. <clears throat> I. Well, I don't know how I feel <clears throat> about this Leopold character. Then just stay down here. I'll bring you a banana. <laughs> <laughs> banana. <coughs> right. If you can find, if you can find one of them nanners, you go ahead and bring that down. I, I want to keep an eye on this uh, Gorgon. I want to. I want to observe a fight. You're not. You're a druid. Do you eat meat? Well, yeah. Okay. Thank God. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I I I ain't one for picking and choosing. If you'll recall, I ate a stable boy a couple weeks back too. <laughs> eh, that doesn't count. <laughs> All right. He's mostly clothes. That's, That's true. I take on the form of Bruner. Okay. I'm going to go upstairs. Roll wisdom for me. Oh, jeez. Am I? You gonna slip it in like that? <laughs> uh, uh, twenty-three. Am I Jeremiah? If you wish. To be. <coughs> I wish to be. Do I need to roll wisdom, or just a wearer? Um, you. It's been a while. You're good. It's been a while since you. I'm when. If you'll notice, the more Zenus transforms, the more he rolls wisdom. Mm. Um, I'm gonna go crazy for too long. <laughs> Cause I got a hotel in my foot. <laughs> what? He's more normal than usual. <laughs> okay, cool, 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 cool. 
All right, so you guys, so what's the plan? Sorry, I was I was doing something else. <clears throat> we are going upstairs. Going Get upstairs. Food. And Arlo. Um, I think for like uh, I have to observe a creature in its natural habitat or what I have to observe a creature for an hour. Okay. So I just want to keep an eye on this creature. Okay. So can you transform into a gorgon? At level fifteen, I can. Okay, gotcha. But I just want to add it to my list. Sure, absolutely. Can uh, he observe the bear cub and turn into an adult bear later? I can already turn into a bear. Oh, okay. It's Never something mind. I've seen, so Yeah. Um so cool, you guys head upstairs. Right, so you're gonna hang out and watch this thing. Oh, uh, for a little bit, yeah. Cool. At least for the hour, and then after that, um, I might venture out. I As a know. dog? I can't turn into anything. Oh. <clears throat> right now? I, until I take a long rest. Okay. Yeah. Gotcha. This is important information for me. Thank you. Yep. Okay. If the Gorgon gets hungry, there's another body in the corner. <laughs> hey, hurry up with that man, or I might eat it. <laughs> All right, so you guys, the two of you come out of the cargo hold, and you are met with the same, you know, young fella that you saw put your cart into the cargo hold. And he says, Oh, hey! You guys are the ones with the dog, right? Yes. Sorry, I know we're not supposed to be down there, but we wanted to see our dog. How is he? Is he good? He seems pretty happy, yes. Well, just don't let me catch you down there again. I don't, have to, I don't have to tell the captain on you. No worries, friend. Okay. Well, just, you know, if you need to see him, just... See the dog. <laughs> uh, if, if you need to see him, just let me know. I'll, I'll, I'll tell you. I'll, I'll, I mean, I'll bring him up here if you want. You can see him through the door or whatever. Mm. Just... So we can't let other people down there because it's just it's for your safety. I understand. Okay. Thank you. He turns and goes back to his meal. Cool. I'm going to roll perception. <laughs> what? I was like putting my hand on the knife. <laughs> Do you want to go pet the dog? <laughs> <laughs> so, for to go behind the curtain, Zenus, you were trying to lure that orc down there to kill him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I was going to... Sleep into my parlor. Well, p- a part of me was like, I'm giving... I'm, not giving him based on the role I was allowed to give you an out, <laughs> you know that really a success or a failure on the part of your 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 story, the way you painted it or whatever, or like what it it was gonna go good for you both ways. I was concerned why him not going down there was a bad thing. <laughs> Uh, well, so, I assumed that like a failure would have him go down there, so yeah. I was like, well, I'm gonna kill him. I'm trying to do a good job of just focusing on the the act. Like if you roll performance. Are you convincing him of this particular story and really, mm. really hinging it on your what you say rather than just like, you know, no matter what you say, he's going to do this thing? Hopefully that so, hopefully that comes across as good and not. So know. then, if I roll a nat twenty and say I'm telling the truth, that's still going to be classified as a lie if I say it like that. If I say it poorly enough. No, 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 no. I don't mean the way you say. It. I'm saying like you know, if you would have told a story, if you, if the story would have made more sense, like if. If you if what you were saying was not convincing, he's like, oh, you're lying to me. He's he's down. He needs help or something like that. Mm-hmm. But what you were, I I made him think that you were. You know, they're stupid. They're not smart things. I made him think yeah. that you're. I, I gave these orcs a culture of having you know a brotherhood where they pick jokes on each other. I don't know. I guess that's on me. Hopefully that comes across as fun and not dumb. Um, so yeah, you guys are in the galley. There's food. The, the smell of, you know, the food's decent. You're not on like a nasty pirate ship. Like this is a, this is a pretty nice merchant's vessel. There's, you know, delicious food floating around. I rolled a 15 for perception. Okay. You see, part of what you see in this room are more orcs, of course. You see. Ooh, how many do you see? You see three soldiers and a mage in the galley kind of all spread out eating. Cool. The, the mage is actually on the far end, kind of just, you know, leaned up against the wall, arms crossed, looking out upon everybody, kind of staring. The The vibe you get from these orcs is more, not just that they're riding the ship, but they are, you know, canvassing the place, possibly looking for criminals or, you know, maybe a group of people that they have been after for a while. Hmm. That makes sense. Sure. Um, I go get a plate of food. Okay. There's all kinds of food. Is, is there any particular you're looking for? Just a, a variety of... Oh, a balanced meal. Okay, you scoop up some rice. They got some delicious beef stew there, as well as uh, some, some veggies. Mm-hmm. It's, a, it's, a, it's a good meal. It's, it's well prepared. What you doing? Uh, I'm just going to follow Grim right now. Okay, yeah. so you guys both <clears throat> grab some supper? I'm going to grab two plates. Okay. Cool. Because they need to get some back to Arlo at some point. Gotcha. Okay. 
put it in your pocket. <laughs> Just beef stew. <laughs> Jeremiah, I'm going to go back to the room and rest. Okay. I want to say Bruno. Bruner. Bruner, yeah. Thank Bruner. You. <laughs> I will see you then. Uh, I'm going to mull about the ship a bit. Excellent. And then I go back to the room. All right, so Jack is down there. Grim, you go up to your room, and you go on top. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> you open the door, and when you open the door, nobody's in there. Oh, God. Burb's not there. Porky's not there. Porky slash Misiko's not there. Um, and roll perception for me. Hey, oh, 25. Also, your armor is not there that you left in the room. Oh, no. Uh, so nobody's there. And... Well, you rolled a 25. Yeah. Do you want to investigate the room, or you, uh, we'll just say you looked around on that one? Um, I'll roll... And yes. Uh, well, I'll, I'll roll survival to see tracks, I guess. Okay, sure. Uh, 24. No, 25. Okay, so you see um, tracks leading to the... I mean, tracks, you're on a ship. So you, yeah. you kind of see the natural scuffing of people walking in and out of this room. Um... As far as survival, it's, there's, it's hard to see tracks on this thing. So tracks is not something you're going to see. But on the far end, in your porthole window, you see the latch of your window is undone. And it looks as though it's kind of half open. It kind of opens to the outside. Um, and it's a little bit, it's kind of half you know, cracked on the outside. The window, not the glass. Is it big enough for me to put my head through? You can open it. I'm going to open yeah. it and look out and look behind and see if I see a thing. Okay, so you poke your head out. And this, this if you wanted to squeeze through this window, you could. Um, but when you look out, you look down and all you see is you're sailing. You've already left the you've left the port. You guys are sailing. You really, you really can't even see um, strong water anymore. You're out on the open ocean. You look down and you can see this, just the crashing waves and the, the wake of the ship because you're, you're <coughs> passing through this really rough water. You look down. And you can see um, with this roll, you can see um, on each side, like where feet would be, three scratches kind of going down the side of the ship. And um, looking down, all you can see is water, but that's all you see are these like kind of three scratches going down the side. Down into the water? Um, they don't go all the way down because the ship kind of curves down, so you can't see all the way, but you can see that they go down pretty far. Um, I sit on the bed. And eat my food. Okay. Close the window. All right. Lock it? Yeah. Okay. You lock the window. Gotcha. Okay, so you're on the bed. Can I look around and see what uh, what my odds are of being able to stealthily put some food inside the hold? Roll to see your odds. <laughs> I mean, perception, stealth, what, like... Yeah, no, so I'm just, I'm just, I'm not saying that's a dumb thing to say, I'm just... I'm trying to calculate what you would roll to try to perceive your odds. I guess roll a perception check. We'll see how good of a grasp you have on the movements within the room. It's uh, 15. Okay, so you've got some good ideas. I'll, I'll say you, you're, you're perfectly capable of, of stealth, stealthing there. I'll, that'll, help me, you, that'll help me create your difficulty class for this check. For stealth. Okay, do I still have the thing? Uh, it lasts for an hour. Okay. So yeah, you probably would. So twenty. Depending upon how long you what? That would cause a lot of problems <laughs> for Just walking around. Just dripping with shadows. Yeah. <laughs> Twenty-seven. Um, what would you have rolled without it? Seventeen. Okay, you, you're good. Let's let's okay. say that you let's say you sat for long enough that that spell has gone away, just to ca- not cause you any troubles, <laughs> and you you perfectly stealth over there, and you're able to slide that food into the <clears> hole. <throat> gotcha. How do you do that? You just like put it on the stairs. I just like. Just, just drops it at the stick. Yeah. <laughs> just sling the <laughs> plate in. Yeah. Okay, so you put it in there. Arlo, you, you hear this. Cool. If it's if it's been enough time for the thing to pass, have have I observed the thing long sure. enough? Sure, we'll say Jack, you sat there for an hour, you know. You're waiting for your perfect moment to put some food there. Grim has gone upstairs and f- looked at what he saw. And then Arlo, you are um yeah, you've you've taken in your hour, so Okay. Um, I'm gonna eat me some good food, being thankful to whoever slid it into this room chamber. And can I cast conjure animals? Can you can you cast now? Yeah, I can cast them. I just can't turn into them. Okay. 
Gotcha. I thought you needed a long rest. Um, yeah, if you want to cast, you certainly can. Yep. Um, I'm going to bring forth eight mastiffs. <laughs> okay. What do they look like? Are they like the exact they same one that I look like? Okay. So, but they're not like ethereal mastiffs. Mm-hmm. Okay. No. When they when they die, they kind of go to like they just dissolve into like leaves and stuff <laughs> and go away. Cool. Yeah. I still like that. Then you by the way. then you conjure mastiffs. All right. I want to send one over to the wagon just to chill. Okay. In case home slice comes back. Did I put the other ones in my pocket just in case? <laughs> <I'm back? laughs> I had a. They, they came in an eight pack. So. Okay. Gotcha. Yeah. Um, so the other ones I want to, uh, I want to compel to, uh, kind of spread out throughout the ship and, and keep an eye on, uh, on the rest of the party. All right. So that you want, <laughs> sorry, you want eight masters to come out of the cargo hold. So there's, there's seven of them and like one of them will go out, out the stair and like slip out the, out the stairs every couple of minutes. And, this is going to be a real cartoony kind of thing. Like the stable boy is going to be chasing around this dog, and all of a sudden it goes around the corner and he hears a bark. And yeah. it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, honestly, I can't work with that. So they're so, are they trying to be stealthy doing this, or this door fly open and these dogs run out? No, just it's just like I, I would imagine, like one dog runs out and and dude man does what he does with that one dog. I don't know, but like I just said, he chases it down, thinking like a couple crap minutes later out. another okay, dog so runs out. Okay. So. But there's two entrances, right. two stairs. So. Yeah, there are. <coughs> yeah, I'm, I'm saying to ca- three one way and four one way. And yeah, just for, forgive me for. It, it, I just want to. Th- I need to think it over because of where you're, you're adding a lot of soup to my to my broil here. Hey, you asked uh, for it. Yeah, but no, I just want to send them out one at a time, every couple minutes part, and just just spread out through the ship, keep an eye on the guys. They can see. Do you see what they see? Nope. But that's 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 the orders I'm giving them. Just spread out and you know keep them safe. Keep track of them. Okay. Gotcha. All right. Cool. So, two dogs at once or one dog at once, like on either side. Um, one dog, one dog each on each. either side. Okay. So, but like, okay, a dog on, on each stair will go at the same time, and then a dog on each stair. Will, yeah. Okay. So actually, the your stable your stable boy or what your your whatever you want to call him. For the, your ship hand, stable hand on the ship, uh, he doesn't notice these two dogs come out. Nice. Um, they well, come one, out. one one up up the stairs at each time, but there's two stairs. Right. So he does they, they, he doesn't notice these dogs. Um, are these going to kind of hang out in the galley, or are they moving along? I would imagine one would like kind of make his way to the galley, one make his way up to the deck. One, I mean, just just spreading out. Spreading okay, out. gotcha. It's just so that the two dogs are not seen at the same time, you know. All right. I'm going to, with these dogs, I'm going to take some liberties and decide, because I can't let you see what happens with all the action with the dogs. That's so, fine. as the dogs live, that things will happen to them. If they come across your path, if they're able to get back to you, I'll let you know. Yeah, my plan is that there, there are just pre-positioned dogs all over the place. Perfect. That sounds good. Keep like their, their orders are keep an eye on, on the party, and if they get into trouble, help them out. But okay. There you go. Cool. All right, so there are, over the course of the next couple of hours, dogs placing themselves throughout <laughs> the ship. Sleeper cells. Sleep. <laughs> Sleep. Sleep. got the little earbud microphone. <laughs> the canine crew. Target required. All right, so, cool. So that's what Arlo's doing. What are y'all doing? When I get done eating, I'm going uh, to saunter out of my room and go up to the deck up top. Okay. I look around. I need to roll perception? Uh, sure, yeah. You also have to roll the saunter. 14. I'm going to go up top as well. You're also going to the top deck? All right, so the two of you kind of arrive at the same time, I'll say. Um, did you gain something from your rest? Or you just wanted to RP rest? I guess RP rest. Was it, I mean, if it was an hour, are we saying short rest? I guess, yeah, short rest would have been an hour. I guess none of you did anything too spectacular over oh, an hour. And that, um, I'm settling in for a, for a good rest. Okay. Do you so regain you... health on a short rest? You can... Ex- ex- you can expend the number of hit die equal to your constitution modifier. Zero. Okay. <laughs> a minimum of one, I think. Oh, you're, you're good. No, oh. You're good. Um, I'm also going to cast Cure Wounds twice. Just okay. Because I want to be super top shape. Cool. So. so on the deck, you also see more, of course, some more orcs. Um, Army you of see... Masters. Two orcs and one mage on the deck. There's not a whole lot of much else room for any more because they are just surrounded by hands working and and doing you know their stuff. 
there's hustle and bustle. There are people climbing the masts. There are, you know, sails going up and down. Um, you see plenty of crew on the deck. There's several pieces of cargo. There's some boxes out there. There's lots of different, you know, different races and different genders and different colors of people all, you know, working on the ship and making sure it, the, the, the Winifred's waddle continues waddling to the, to the round aisle. Um, but what's interesting that you see is that the captain of the ship is a very well-dressed orcish lady. Um, she has on a big captain's hat, like you would expect, kind of for a pirate, like the big triangular captain's hat. Um, she's just big. She's a big strapping woman. Um, and she her she's, she wears pants. She's got that puffy, nice white shirt of a, a ship captain. And she's got the captain's hat. And then in, coming out of the hat is just a big blue feather um, that she sits there. That she And she's, you know doing the ship she's barking orders and everything she's steering she's barking orders uh she is yelling at everyone the only person she doesn't yell too harshly at but still kind of harshly is a little gnome that sits directly beside the steering wheel on an elevated platform that's right beside her he is wearing very tattered clothing um and he has uh kind of like some shackles on his wrists and ankles and he sits there beside her as she Pilots the the craft. Pilots the ship. And that's what you see up here. <clears throat> Do I see Grim? Yeah, y'all are beside each other. I assume oh, you came okay. out the same steps. Oh. Oh. <clears throat> oh. I should tell you, Jeremiah. Um, Jer- Burb, <laughs> no, Claren, Claren, Clareman? Clareman. Clareman and Porky have disappeared from the room. I have not even seen the room. Could you show me where that is before we yes. part ways again? I will show you, yes. Let's go down and enter there. And I, I take him down there and I, I show him the scratch marks and say, okay. the window is open. Did My armor has been stolen as well. Did either of them have claws? No. They're a dwarf and a human. Yeah. So, something else has done this. Yes. Perhaps we should go to the next level down and see if the scratches continue all the way to the water? Sure. Or you can do as you will, mulling about the ship, and I'll go check it out. No, I, no I will go check with you. Let's go. Certainly. You go, guys, go downstairs back to the galley. Yes. The, you kind of suss out what window is directly beneath you, um, and you peek out the window, roll investigation for me. Six. Four. You don't see it. <laughs> there would have been something there for you to see. I'm sorry, uh, but you see, you see this. You do see scratches. You see the scratches, but like the waves are washing up and they're washing against the boat. And the farther you get down, the more the water comes up. And so the scratches come down, but you can tell that they, you know, the scratches kind of stop. And you can see that they, they just they're, the scratches are no longer there. It's like something was sliding down, and whatever happened, it's it stopped sliding. It maybe. It stopped sliding and just stopped there, or came in the window, or fell into the water. You don't know, but the, the it, scratches stopped there. Does it look like it stopped beside this window? Or? Um, it's a little bit past the window. <clears throat> it's kind of down, probably ten more feet under the window. Do we see another window down there, or anything? There's no windows in the cargo hold. Okay. And that's the that's the only thing below you. Spooky. Do I have access to Grimm's abilities? As this, per- you can try and find out. Okay, hang on. I gotta see if I got a good one to use. <laughs> um, oh, do it, I have access to Jack, or is it? <clears throat> oh yeah, you don't. Okay. Your skills are gonna be. So it's a three to investigate. Yeah. Yeah, your skills are gonna be uh, gonna be tinned out. Gotcha. At, you know, flat line <clears throat> for now. Um, so I want to use uh, Eyes of the Grave. Which is detect okay. undead within 60 feet as an action. I don't believe they're undead here, but I've got gotcha. noth- no other reason to use this ability. Gotcha. Roll wisdom for me. And Jack, you do as well. Y'all have been transformed for a while. Uh, 16? 16. 19. 19. Okay, you guys are doing okay. You're not having any <coughs> adverse effects, but you do. You both get the sensation that you do not have access to a lot of your abilities. Um, there you're, are a lot of people down here. Uh, there are a good many people in the galley. But they're kind of clearing out to go to bed. It's getting late. Okay. Also, it should be noted that it's dark when you look down. Mm. Another thing that obscures your survival ability. 
Was it survival or investigation? Oh, earlier when you rolled survival. I'm saying that was a that was a reason or whatever. Sorry, investigation. Whatever it is you rolled, I'm I'm uh, canonizing and giving flavor to why you were unable to see a lot of stuff with those portals. Um, so you get the sense that your abilities are kind of lost to you, Jack. You expect you especially experience a, a bit of a freedom from your patron, a little bit, and when are you transformed this way? Whenever more people have cleared out, perhaps we should go below and confer with Arlo. I agree. Have the... Because the Mastiffs were to find everybody and make sure they're okay, keep them safe. They have, have not... Have they found any of the guys? They have not brought back any information to you yet. Not expecting them to bring back, but have they found anything? Would we have, I cannot... Can they, they communicate with you telepathically? Well, no, I think he's just, just spread bringing out, like, would we have seen a Mastiff? Yeah. Oh, to them, oh yeah, y'all, yes, a Mastiff would have approached you at okay. this point. Sorry, yes. You, in, in the galley... <laughs> In, in the galley, there's one wandering around, and so far it hasn't bothered anyone. Like, no one's gotten upset with it. They just kind of assume, oh, maybe there's a dog on this ship or whatever. <clears throat> um, but other than that, yeah, the, the Mastiff comes up to you and gives you, like, a, I, a bow. I, like, poke it at its nose. Arlo? I don't believe that's Arlo. He said he couldn't transform again. He has summoned creatures before, though. Go away. <laughs> <laughs> Would the dog go away? <laughs> or is it, just it, it obeys whatever I told it to do, right. so it's, it's going to keep an eye on them yeah. and make sure they're safe. It kind of backs over there to the corner and just sits and watches you, kind of lays down in the corner. I see it kind of like if they leave this area, they go into a different part of the ship. This this dog stays here, but there's another dog yeah. that's like, oh, there they are. Okay. <laughs> and it kind of picks it up from there. Gotcha. Yeah, so yes. Yeah. system. Mm. <clears throat> cool. All right. Uh, at our earliest convenience, I'd like to try and get back down to the bottom part of the sheep. Okay. Cool. Arlo's currently snoozing. Is it, do we just roll stealth to do that? Um, yeah, because, again, it's, it's a, it's a you know, restricted area. So roll stealth to get back to the bottom. Nat 20. Nice. 13. <laughs> just... <laughs> Y'all are able... You're able to do it. You both get into the, the bottom of the ship. Um, I, as soon as we're down there, I'm dropping the disguise. Okay. And from the other end of the ship, coming towards you, um, and, and prepare for the end of this episode, sadly, because this is just going to be a super short one, sorry. Bum, bum, bum. Um, but <clears throat> coming from the other end of the ship as you get down there is a rather distressed-looking Misiko who is running towards you. And he, so you, He looks like Misiko? Yeah, he took down his... You, you taking yours down gives him the ability to like you know come out of his a little bit oh, yeah. um, so he comes running towards you and he says something has 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 taken Burb from us and sorry that's wrong voice something has taken Burb I cannot find him have you have you seen him have you seen my armor no I I left to get something to eat and when I came back Burb and your armor were gone hmm Burb turned into a dragon again. <laughs> <laughs> Not again. We must find him. We this is down him. in the in the cargo area. Yeah, you're okay. all down there together. There were scratches coming. There were scratches coming down the side of the ship, uh, over there. Can we look and see? Is there like a large box or anything that's obstructing that piece of the wall? Yeah, I, I don't know if it's like some kind of secret compartment linked to the outside of the sure. ship or something. Um, you we will roll investigation for that. I rolled a 12 on Insight for me. Okay. Let's see. Let's roll I'm back to Jack, fun. right? Arlo is okay. still kicked back in the box over there by the golden. Gotcha. Misiko, um, he does indeed see... You can't tell whether it's because he's concerned or he wants to be liked by you or whatever, like whether he doesn't really care about, you know, Burb or whatever, but... He doesn't seem to care as much about this as you think, or as he's you know putting on. He seems a little bit, a little bit off about the situation. I'm gonna punch him. Do you? No. We don't. If you're gonna <laughs> punch him, we have to save that for next time. No. I'm Investigation, not. Bryce. <coughs> yeah. Uh, am I back to being Jack? Uh, yes. Then it is a twenty-two. Okay, so you investigate, you tip over some boxes and stuff, and you don't see anything of secrecy over there. Okay. Uh, Misiko says, It is possible that something pulled him through the window. Uh, if this is the case, I have no idea what it could be. But I fear for the rest of us that something is after Burb. 
It's the bear cub. Rabbits. <laughs> Thank you so much for listening to this episode of Dungeon Boys. I know it's been short. Kind of had a little RP session, a little bit of figuring out things, hanging out on the boat this episode. We'll have you a full-length episode next week. But in the meantime, please be sure to like, comment, subscribe if you're on YouTube, if you're on iTunes or SoundCloud or whatever. Like us, reblog us, leave us a review. I don't know what it is you can do. Um, but do stuff so we can get this show in front of more people if you enjoy it. Tell your friends about it. Hopefully you like it. If you don't, let me know at, uh, on Twitter at Take Media Games. In the meantime, please remember that we love you very much. Uh, two of those. Later.